Hey guys, Matt here. This is my review of R.I.P.D. This movie is directed by Robert Schwank, who previously directed Red and Flight Plan. The movie stars Jeff Bridges, Ryan Reynolds with Mary Louise Parker and Kevin Bacon. Now, when I first saw the trailer to R.I.P.D., I thought, okay, this is Men in Black, but with Ryan Reynolds as the young rookie and Jeff Bridges as the veteran. So their chemistry will be great because Jeff Bridges is cranky now and he's playing a, a southern cowboy type character so that should be interesting and Ryan Reynolds is quick witted and funny so it should work right? Well I saw the movie and it didn't work actually the opposite it failed because even though this movie was a mixture of Men in Black meets Beetlejuice and Constantine meets Ghost this movie was actually not funny and just really lazy and cartoony and not worth seeing. The plot of this movie is Ryan Reynolds plays Nick, a 15-year veteran cop who looks 30, who dies. And instead of going right to heaven, he goes to the RIPD, or the Rest in Peace Department. There he meets Ruth Cephas, played by Jeff Bridges, who's a southern lawman from the 1800s. And so they are teamed up to hunt down deados. In Men in Black, you had aliens pretending to be human. Well, in R.I.P.D., you have the undead pretending to be human. Let me start with the acting in this movie. Ryan Reynolds, as the young rookie, he really didn't show it. As soon as he got to the R.I.P.D., he was totally calm and collect. Maybe because his character was a 15-year veteran, maybe that's why, because he had seen and done it all. But unlike Will Smith in Men in Black, he wasn't shocked and he wasn't surprised at stuff. The only thing that really got any emotion out of him was <laughs> his partner. Just how annoyed he was with his partner. And speaking of annoying, Jeff Bridges. Okay, now he was a lawman from the 1800s, and so he sounded a lot like Rooster Cogburn in True Grit. That's pretty much what his impression was. You know, where he'd be like, Well, I know you're insulting me, but I don't know how to take it. And it was just like, <laughs> it was just so silly, and his lines weren't even funny, and just, their great chemistry that you'd expect wasn't there. I could talk about the co-stars, Mary Louise Parker and Kevin Bacon, but <laughs> I just don't want to. They didn't bring anything different or new to the screen. They were, if anything, just annoying characters that you just couldn't wait to not see anymore. And even the deados in this movie. In Men in Black, when you had aliens disguised as humans, whenever they transformed, they were disgusting and different, and they looked totally unlike they did. But when you have the Dedo disguised as humans in R.I.P.D. transform, they don't look any different. They're just exaggerated versions of what they were. They were either fatter or skinnier or longer or just scars on their face. Nothing different. So because R.I.P.D. was just a silly, cartoony, unoriginal version of Men in Black, I'm going to give it an F. This is definitely the second most disappointing movie of the year, next to Broken City. And even if you're a Ryan Reynolds fan or Jeff Bridges fan, it's not worth seeing at all. So until next time, guys, see ya.